All right, so I think you're. I, I think we're live. And I see that there are already some people here. So, hey, Lego Carter and Brett's Builds. Hey, so we're starting on bag number six. Uh, let's see. Lego Carter says, I like Avengers Lego. What's your favorite theme? Um, uh, my favorite theme is Ninjago. Brett's Build says, Lego Carter, I'm known for my trains, but I enjoy Castle, City, and Vintage, Space 2, and have Hidden Side as well. Oh, okay, well, those are some good themes. Castle and City are really good. Hey, Rogue Empire. All right, so let's get started. Hey, Proger JB. So how are you guys doing today? Hey, Project Zorgo. So how is everyone doing today? Um, Lego Carter, I did not see your slow mo crash, so I'll have to go check that out. I'll buy the bookshop of you for 50 euros. No, it's not for sale. And plus, this set was $180, too. But thanks for the offer. Um, Project Zergo says, How many cities do they have in the box? Um, I don't know what you mean by that. Like how many cities are in a box? Okay, and Rogue Empire says that he's only two subscribers away from 300. So if you haven't, you should go subscribe to him and get him to 300. Okay, and Brett's build says that he's sorting. Okay, so that's really good. It's always great to sort your uh, pieces. And I'm curious to know how you sort them. Do you sort them by color or by type? And, like, what type of sorting container do you have? I'll trade you for the new Diagon Alley. Well, thanks, but uh, I think I'm going to keep this set. Okay, so I have all of the pieces out of the bag. Now I can start. And one piece that I've never had is this one right here. This big um, plate right here. And also, it's nice to get this little teacup piece uh, right here. I've never gotten that before. So that's really cool. Alright, so let's get started now. Um, Brett's build says that he sorts his pieces by type, and he has stack drawers. Oh, okay, that's cool. Thanks for actually starting with this piece that I've never gotten before. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Stop Motion Harris Films. How are you doing? And it's actually funny because um, the guy who runs that channel, he has a name with Harris, too. Just like me. Uh, Rogue Empire says, I just got finished building a Lego set. Cool. Which Lego set was it, Rogue Empire? And Stop Motion Harris Films just finished Assembly Square today. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I actually have that, have that set, and I think it's one of my favorite modular buildings. Because I like how detailed it is. And plus, um, it's like a combination of the previous modular buildings before that. Because that was actually the 10th anniversary of the modular buildings. And I really like how they made that. And I think it might be my favorite modular building. So yeah, I'm glad that you were able to build that set. Um, Brett's build says, when I'm not sorting, I'm building a castle mock. Cool. And when I'm not sorting, I'm just building um, just a regular mock or a mock from my city. I was actually building a mock from my city earlier today. Like, you built a set, but you're building again. So how many buildings are in that set? Oh, so you're talking about how many buildings are in my city? Oh, I think I have about 10 of them. I think I might have more. But for my buildings, it's a combination of mocks and modular buildings, which were sets. So let's see, where is this piece? Uh, okay, here it is. Let me go back to the chat. Uh, Roger says that he loves the Assembly Square set. Yeah, it's a really cool set. Oh, hey, Nicholas. How are you doing? Roger JB says Assembly Square is great. I got it 18 months ago. Oh, okay, so did you get it for a Christmas present? I was building the ski resort set. Oh, yeah, that's a really cool set. I was really hoping that I could get it, but when it went on sale, like, it just got wiped off the shelves. And I tried looking at it in Walmart and Target, and I still couldn't find it, unfortunately. And I was really hoping I could get that set because I was going to put it in my mountain. Because, like, whenever I build more of my mountain, I'm going to make a little snowy area. And I was thinking about putting my ski resort there. They might have, they might still have it at the Lego store. I'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Stop Motion Harris Film says, did you get this for Christmas? Yes, I did get it for Christmas, along with some other sets. Nicholas is doing good. Roger says, Rogue Empire, I built a Christmas scene with a train and that's it. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I built a Christmas scene, too, like, a week ago. And that was my Christmas mop. Oh, buy Stop Motion Harris Films. He says, gotta go, didn't stay for long, just wanted to check in. Well, that's okay. People have lives. Rogue Empire says that he got it for Christmas. Cool. The ski resort, yeah. So yeah, that's a really cool set. And to me, it's okay that it's not complete. Because I was just going to put it like against the wall. Because my mountain is against the wall. And you wouldn't really see behind it. But I still might be able to get it at the Lego store if they have it. Okay, so in the last live stream, I finished building this top part, and I built the basement. And now I'm building the next floor that goes on top of this. Okay. Um, a few of these. I'll just move this right here. Um, Nicholas says, there's literally nothing in Target. I bought the Journey to the Skull Dungeon for $50 on Amazon because Lego was out of stock, and there's not one in Jago set in Target. Oh, yeah. Um, I went to Walmart in yesterday, and I went to Target the other day, 
and man, it was wiped out. Kind of like for Nicholas. Because there were only like a few sets, and the Ninjago section was terrible. There was like one Ninjago set, and I think there was another one. So yeah, it was really bad. And all that I ended up getting was like a Harry Potter blind bag. Um, Prodger JBC is saying that he might start a Lego channel. Yeah, you should. Uh, Rogue Empire says he's going to do a, a review video on that set soon. Yeah, I think you should do that. And I'll probably go and watch that whenever it's released. And that set also comes with a lot of minifigs, too. And I always love minifigs. Um, hey, David Avila, how are you doing? Are you into Lego Star Wars? Because I'm into it. Oh, that's, um, that's cool that you're into Star Wars. Um, I'm not really into Lego Star Wars, but I am a big Star Wars fan because I've watched all nine of the Star Wars movies and the shows. And I actually have a couple of Star Wars sets. And I'm thinking about getting the new Trouble on Tatooine Star Wars set because it comes with the Mandalorian, a couple of speeders. And the child, or Baby Yoda. Prodger says that he just subscribed to Prodger, I mean, he's just subscribed to Rogue. So that's really cool. Thank you for doing that. So that means that Rogue Empire is only one subscriber away from reaching 300. What's up, Stacy Harris? Alright, see you, Prodger JB. Hey, JRock704, how are you doing? Hey, Eduardo Flores, how are you doing? Can you buy me the new X-Wing, please? <laughs> Sorry. And plus, I don't even know where you live either, so I couldn't really ship it to you. But yeah, that new X-Wing is really cool. Okay, and Nicholas just subscribed to Rogue Empire, so congratulations, Rogue Empire. I believe that you now have 300 subscribers. That's really cool. Um, Lego and Things says, I will be live in 30 minutes, guys, if you want to join. Oh, well, unfortunately, I can't join because I'm streaming right now. But maybe on the next stream. So it's been another day, so have were any of you guys able to get some new 2021 sets? Or did you order anything? Uh, 
Um, David Avila asks if you guys can subscribe to him because he only says 14 because he only has 14 subscribers. Lego and Thing says that he will get 2021 set soon. Cool. Okay, so right now I'm building up more of the walls. Oh, okay, so Lego and Thing is that says he that he might be going live in two hours. Oh, okay. So I might be able to make it if I'm finished by then. Nicholas says he ordered the Skull Dungeon set, which is coming tomorrow, and I am so excited. Cool. I hope that you enjoy the set, because I really enjoyed it. And if you don't have the Journey to the Skull Dungeons, then I would recommend that because it can attach easily to the Skull Dungeons, the Journey ones. Oh, hey, Teal Bricks and Paradisa. How are you doing? Glad that you're here. And Charlie as well. Hey, how are you guys doing today? Um, I recently watched Teal Bricks and Paradisa's recent video. And he bought some of the new road plates, and he was talking about them, and it was a really interesting video. And he's going to be making a Lego City, which is going to be like a futuristic kind, and I think that's really cool. And he actually came up with a new concept for the road plates, which is like a corner one, or a curved road plate. So if you guys get the chance, you should go and check out that video. Till Brick says that he's doing all right. That's good. And he's building stuff. Nice. Uh, what are you working on? I'm curious to know. Are you working on um, the city that you're planning? Or are you building a set? Hey, EF Bricks, how are you doing? Uh, what are your thoughts on the Stranger Things set? Um, I actually think that the Stranger Things set is really cool. Um, I actually watched the show, and I've watched all three seasons of it. And it's actually really accurate to it, like the house. Um, I like how you can flip it upside down, and you can display it as either the upside-down world or the real world. And I really like the minifigs that it comes with. As well as the Demogorgon. And I also like Hopper's little truck. Or his car. I really like the teal colors that they used for this apartment building. JRock704 says, 11 likes. Let's go to 30. Yep. I think that's going to be my goal for every live stream. And for the past two live streams, we've gotten 30 likes. So let's continue that. Um, Charlie Bill says that he's good. He's working on the Sith art. Oh, that's a really cool set. Uh, which Sith art is it? Is it Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, or Darth Maul? Um, David said, I bought the Stranger Things set. Cool. Nicholas says, I am getting the Journey to the Skull Dungeons and the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon, one coming on Tuesday and the other one on Wednesday. But I just spent all of my money. Oh, okay. But yeah, those are two really cool sets. Because like I said, I already built the Skull Sorcerer's Dungeon set. 
on a live stream before, and that is a good set. So I hope that you enjoy it, Nicholas, and I also hope that you enjoy the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. I don't have that set, but it looks really cool. Um, Tilbrick says that he's working on a third floor of his apartment mock. Oh, that's cool. I can't wait to see that. Um, the building that I've been working on, well, the one that I was working on earlier today is going to have like four floors. And on the first floor, it has a little chicken restaurant. And then beside that, well, on the next floor, there's going to be a little gym. And on the first floor, beside the chicken restaurant, is like the little check-in. So you can go to the gym. And then on top of the gym, well, for the next two floors on top of the gym, there's going to be apartments. So yeah, Till Bricks, I can't wait to see that monk. Uh, Lego and Thing says that his live stream is in 25 minutes, and it will be two hours long. Oh, okay. <laughs> Till Brick says, Teal Colors, that's my jam, yo. Oh, yeah. Do you have this set, Till Bricks? Because I can tell that that's your favorite color. And you would probably love this set if you don't have it already. Um, Charlie Bill says that he's building the Kylo Ren Sith art. Nice. I don't think I'll be getting any of the Lego art sets. I mean, I know it comes with over, like, 3,000 pieces. I, mean, I just don't want to spend $120 on basically a painting. Because I already have a lot of studs, and I could probably um, make my own. Hey, Anthony Day, how are you doing? Um, Lego and Things says, that's cool. And Anthony Day says, can you make a haul? Uh, what do you mean, a haul? Are you talking about a hallway? Tilbert says, nice. I think your mock is going to be awesome. You have, excep you have exceptional mock creativity. Well, thank you, Tilbricks. Yeah, I've been working hard on it. And actually, um, it's going to be a corner building, and at the corner, there's this really long white column that goes all the way to the top. And it's going to re look really good when it's complete. Um, Anthony says he has the bookshop, and it's good. Yes, it is very good. Um, Charlie says, also, the Sith art is very tedious. Yeah, it is. But at the end, it does look really good when you can get on your wall. But I'm not going to get any of them. Oh, yeah, and I'm probably going to finish this up on this stream. And I can agree with teal bricks. I really do like this teal color. Um, Teal Brick says, I don't have the bookstore. I have to get the Corner Garage first. Oh, yeah, the Corner Garage is a really good set. I got that one last year for Christmas. Hmm, let's see. Where are those pieces? Oh, here they are. Two of these. Uh, okay, here it is. Two of these. One, two, three, four of these. And one of these. Nicholas says, I want Kai's Firestone mech and Zane's Mono Creature, and I am waiting for Wu's Battle Dragon to get back in stock, because no way I am paying $50 on Amazon. Oh, yeah, the Firestone mech is a really cool set. Um, I built that one because I got it for Christmas. I mean, I actually didn't do it on a live stream, but I built it um, a few days ago, and it's really cool. So, yeah, I hope that you get that set. 
Till Brick says, my apartment is going to be slightly taller than the hospital, and it's also going to include a bunch of other stuff, too. Well, I can't wait for that, Till Bricks, because I like seeing apartment buildings and, and hotel buildings. And your hospital mock was really tall. So, yeah, I can't wait to see that one. Oh, Anthony says, no, a hall void. Oh, okay. Yeah, I might think about that. Um, Charlie says, I'm about halfway done with the set. Okay, well, I hope that you're enjoying it. Nicholas says, Kai's Firestone mech and Zane's Mono Creature for my birthday. Oh, okay, so your birthday's coming up. Nice. That's really nice. It's going to have 14 apartments, grocery convenience store, small shops, gym, indoor park, and rooftop restaurant. Ooh, I like that. Hmm, rooftop restaurant. That kind of gave me an idea. So, yeah, I'm really hyped for that mock, Tilbrooks. Hey, Lego Carter, how are you doing? Um, Tilbrick says, it saves on city space when I can include many different shops in one building. Yep, you're right. Because what a lot of cities do when they don't have as much space, instead of building out, they build up. Which is basically what the Ninjago City sets are doing. I don't know if I told you guys this already. But remember in my city update video when there was like this construction site and it had a crane there? Um, I think I'm going to put a hospital there because I don't have a hospital in my city yet. And I was talking about how that window, I mean, how that skyscraper is going to have blue windows. And having blue windows for a hospital, it works out really well. So I think that's what I'm going to make it. So what do you guys think? Okay, so I just built a plant right here. That goes in here, I think. I can fit it. There we go. Um, How long do you play with Lego? Um, I think I started playing with Lego when I was four, I think. I can't remember the exact age, but I know I was pretty young. And I also remember that it was about when I had started, I uh, went to Disney Springs to the Lego store there. And I think that's what really got me into Lego. And now I have to use my brick separator. It's messed up. Okay. There we go. Sorry if I'm not chatting much because I'm more paying attention to the set. Well, that's okay. Um, I hope that your set turns out well. But don't worry, because I have um, other people who are talking. So, yeah, get back to your sip. Okay, so right now I'm going to build a little coffee table. And it's funny because I'm going to put a little cup of coffee on it. Or it might be a cup of tea. Yeah, I think that's what it is, a cup of tea. And I've never gotten that little teacup before. I'd even come with an extra one. I don't know. So here's the little coffee table. It has a magazine on it. And it has a teapot and two cups of tea. And that goes right here. So here's what I have so far. Uh, let's see. Lego and Thing says, I will be going soon. It's because of my live stream. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Tilbrick says, hospitals are so fun because they have so much functionality and details. Yeah, I agree. And I love putting details in my mocks. And you guys probably know that. Anthony Day says, I'm not by a lot 
a set. I like a monk. Oh, okay. So you don't buy lots of sets. You make more monks. Oh, okay. Silbrick says, so go for it, Tayshawn. The trans blue windows should work great. Yep. And another reason I wanted to use um, the trans blue windows is because all of my other skyscrapers are just the clear ones. I think it's trans white. Or just the regular clear ones. And I just wanted to make this one stand out more and I wanted to make it look different. And that would also improve the skyline of my city. Um, are you going to finish this set tonight live? Yes, I think I will. Because I have just a few more bags left. Oh, wow, we have 16 people on right now. Wow, thank you guys. That's the most that I've ever had. Um, do you play Among Us? Um, I've played Among Us before. What was your very first system set, like, ever, ever? Do you still have it? Uh... I do still have the box. I'll have to go get that later. Uh, what is your favorite part about the Firestone mech? Uh, my favorite part is how like half of it is a mech and the other half is fire. I mean, not half of it's a mech. What I meant to say was half of it's fire and the other half is stone. But the thing that I don't like about that set is how the knees don't bend. And I actually saw a video made from Chubby bots, and he made a video on how he modified that set to where it has knees and you can bend them. And I might even have to do that tomorrow. So yeah, Till Bricks, I think I'm going to um, show that set at the end of the stream. Hey, Stacy Carbonara, what's up? Nicholas says, oh wait, I already read that one. Toby Vang says, are you planning on getting the new modular police station? Um, I'm not going to get it like right now or in the next week or anything. But I'm planning on getting it in the future. I might even ask for it for either my birthday or for Christmas. Because that's a really cool looking set. And out of the newer modular buildings, I think that one's the tallest one. And I saw a video where someone went to the Lego store and they had that set, the police station, beside this set that I'm working on, the bookshop. And it's actually taller than the bookshop. How many brick separators do you think you have? Uh, I might have about 30 of them. I haven't counted them in a while. Yeah, I don't think the trans clear, except it's for historical buildings. The trans light blue looks better and looks like modern tempered glass. Yeah, I agree. And that's another reason why I'm using that one. Because I want to make my buildings look modern. I don't want to make it look like a real bustling city. Because, like, every time that I go to a big city and I see uh, lots of skyscrapers, I always get excited. Because I just really like how it looks. Okay. Anthony says, my one set is a city set. Cool. Um, Anthony, which city set is that? I'm curious to know. Um, Stacy says, I'm building a pool mock just like you. Nice. I like that. Um, Tilbert says, okay, cool. It's your origin story. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I know. So have you guys ever been to a Lego convention before? Because I have um, the one that I went to. It was called Brick Universe. And... That was actually before all of this COVID stuff got really bad. So I'm glad that I was able to go. And I had a really fun time there. So were you? have you guys gone to any conventions before? Uh, 
Um, Stacy asks, what did you get for Christmas? Um, I got this set, I got Pirates of Barracuda Bay, and I got a few Ninjago sets. And I also got that um that Lego snow scene, which it was like a sledding thing and it had a snow fort. You can only get it at the Lego store. And it also got like a Lego classic set. Nicholas says, my list for 2021 is Kai's Firestone match, Zane's Mino Creature, Ninjago City Gardens, Betrayal at Cloud City, and Wu's Battle Dragon. The Wu's Battle Dragon set is really cool. I would recommend that one. And the Ninjago City Garden set. I really want that one. Charlie says, gotta go, but this was fun. Bye, everyone. See you, Charlie. Thanks for stopping by. Nicholas says, half of those I asked for Christmas and my birthday. Nice. Stacy said that he's almost finished with his pool mock. Okay, I hope that it turns out nice. Let me stack a few pieces on here. Oh, I think I forgot. Yeah. Got one of these pieces. Um, hey A AS Parker, how are you doing? He says Hello Tayshawn, do you think you can finish this today? Yes, I believe that I will finish today because after this bag I'll have bags seven and eight. See, I think I can finish. And we've only been streaming for about thirty six minutes. So yeah, I'll probably finish this today. Toby Vane, hello, how are you doing? He says, I have not been to any convention before. Okay. Till Brick says he hasn't been into any to any before. He says, I wanted to go to a convention last year, but missed it. Yeah, it was probably because of COVID, too. Um, Stacy says, cool, thank you. Anthony says, it's an old set from 2010, but I forgot the set. Oh, okay. And Tilbrick says, and this year is whacked, of course. Oh, yeah, 2020 was not that good. Definitely not my favorite year. So I'm hoping that 2021 will be a lot better. Stacy says, I got that I got that set too. Nice. Oh yeah, and we have 17 likes so far, so let's go. See if we can get the 30 again. Oh, see you, Nicholas. Thanks for stopping by. And Tilbrick says, see you later, Charlie. Okay. I hope that you guys have a good day. Oh, yeah, and Tilbrick's, I'm curious to know how you're going to make your city raised so you can have the, like, factory trucks or delivery trucks go under your city. Like, how are you going to raise it up? <clears throat> Oh, okay, you got the winter scene set like I did. Nice. Because you went to the Lego store. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I was really wanting that winter set. And I also like the minifigs that it comes with. See you, Lego and things. Oh, okay, we just got two more likes. 19. Thank you guys for that. 
And I believe that what I'm building right now is a fireplace. And I'll show that to you guys when I'm finished. All right, see you, Lego and things. Have a nice stream. Um, Stacy says, yes, one looks like your minifig, lol. Yeah, it kind of does, if my sick fig was younger. Is it because of the scarf? Oh, yeah, and I probably need to change my profile picture back to normal since Christmas is over. Okay, um, so, oops, I forgot a couple pieces. All right, so here's what the fireplace looks like. There's actually a little bit of fire in there. Okay, so Tilbrick says, I'm planning to not invest in tables and put my city directly on the floor. And the underground streets will be on the floor. Then the underground level walkable streets will be elevated. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Miss, find whatever you build your city on. But I remember when I built my city on the floor like i had to step over it so i could get to a section so i was asking how you're gonna raise like the level where all your civilians are so that the trucks can get underneath it i was wondering what pieces you're using silas harris says gotta go we'll check your finished product after a while okay well thanks for stopping by anthony dye says do you like app store or google play um, I use Google Play to download my apps. So Tilbrick says, I was thinking of using Duplo bricks to build up and support the ground level. Oh, that's a good way to raise something up. Because I heard that you can use Duplo bricks and you can actually attach them to regular Lego bricks. And that's a great way to build things up. And I was thinking about using some Duplo bricks for my mountain, but I don't really have a lot of Duplo bricks. Which is why I didn't do that. So yeah, that's a great idea, Till Bricks. And I can't wait to see how it looks when you start on it. And it'll be really cool to see how you integrated those um, new road plates into your city. Okay, so I'm about to put the door into this apartment, which is cool. Uh, where does this piece go? Hmm. Oh, this. Oh, okay, that goes on the door handle. Hey, Christian Yaman, how are you doing? I'm glad that you're here. So I have more room. Oh, that's cool. It comes with a little pink umbrella. And I just realized that I forgot to build the minifig that comes with this bag. So I'll just do that once I finish it. So I don't have to go back right now. Um, Tilbrick says, I tried 
to order some new 2021 sets at 9 a.m. on NYE, but their website was crashing for two hours, so I finally gave up and bought the new road plate sets on Amazon. Nice. I like that. Um, which 2021 sets did you order? Curious to know. Wait, hold on a second. Need to fix something. Oops. Okay. Oh, okay, so you meant 9 p.m. Okay. Alright, so let me build some more of those now. Okay, so Tilbrick says that he got the city, the city family house because I really like the new dog mold and two times of the road plates. Oh, nice. Yeah, that new city house is really cool because I like how it's more modern. But what I don't like about that set is the price of it. And what makes that price so high is because it has the road plates in them. I mean, because I don't really want to pay $70 for a set that has like 300 to 400 pieces. I just don't think it's worth the money. But if it was like 50 or $40, then I would probably pick it up. Okay, so you said 60291 and two of the 60304 sets. Okay, nice. Stacy says, they have the new LEGO Nintendo Mario set on LEGO.com. Oh, that's really cool. I like those new Mario sets. And I also like his new outfits that he comes with. And I think that new Mario theme has a lot of good potential in it. Um, Anthony says, I like the new city family house. I want to mock it. Yeah, I would like to mock it too. But I might get the set if it goes on sale. But as of right now, I'm not going to get it. Um, a few people actually did some live streams today on building the uh, the police station set. I believe that Brixie did a live stream. And Ash and Flash did one. Do you like the Crocodile locomotive? Um, I think it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of the trains sets. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so it's two hundred three dollars. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay, so I just built another door. And Till Brick says, yeah, I usually wait half a year for Amazon to do 20% on new sets, but yesterday I decided to just go ahead and get the family house. No savings. Huh. Yeah, well, it is good to get it so you can go ahead and do mocks on it. But I have a lot of sets that I was wanting to get. And that one wasn't like a must-have. So that's why I'm going to wait. Um, until it goes on sale, which I hope it goes on sale, because that's a cool set. Oh, 
Okay, so I have this window that I'm building, and I think that's supposed to represent like a cabinet, which goes like right in here. Um, Anthony Dye says, are you, do you use, um, your money to buy Lego? Yes, I do use my money to buy Lego, but sometimes my parents buy me Lego, like if I'm doing good in school, and Anthony says that he likes Brixy too, yeah, he's a really cool YouTuber. Stacy says, they just released the new Lego Star Wars sets, nice, and I said this earlier, and I'm hoping that I can get the Mandalorian set. And Marvel, and I am a big fan of Marvel. Nice. They Yeah, because all of the new 2021 sets came out yesterday. Till Brick says, yeah, if some sets have rare and new pieces that I gotta have, but I don't like the set, um, I try to buy only the pieces I want on Legos Bricks and Pieces. Yeah, I've never used Bricks and Pieces before. I've used Bricklink, though. But I might have to try that out. But sometimes if I'm ordering things off of a Bricklink seller and they have like a particular piece that I can get on Bricks and Pieces, then I'll just go ahead and um, get that from the Bricklink seller since I'm already ordering them. EF Bricks, welcome back. He says, what's your favorite Lego set? Um, my favorite set is the Lego Creator Experts roller coaster. And I really like that set because you can um, move the cars up the track using the chain and you can motorize that. And then, like, once it gets to the top, it can go down and go down all the tracks. And I actually have that set in my amusement park in my Lego City. Uh, let's see, where is, oh, there it is. Oh, hey, Butt Shop 2021, how are you doing? Um, I'm liking this bookshop set really good. Because I like how many details are included in it, so I'm glad that you're here, Butt Shop. Um, Stacy says, the Mandalorian set is so cool. Yeah, I know, because it comes with Beskar Mando and the child. Tilbrick says, but yesterday all the new color and mold pieces were completely sold out, so I couldn't buy any of the new 2021 pieces. Yeah, I think you have to wait a little while um, on bricks and pieces. Like, try not to buy them, like, as soon as they come out, because either they might not be there or they'll be sold out. So try to w wait, like, a couple days or a couple weeks. Okay, and I'm coming close to building, like, that big window that's at the front of this apartment. Are you going to make another LEGO City update? Yes, I'll always be making City updates. updates. But what I like to do is I like to wait until there's, like, been a lot of changes before I do another City update. Because I don't want it to be boring. Or I've only made like a couple changes. Brett's builds is looking good. Oh yeah, welcome back, Brett's builds. Glad that you're here. Um, Stacy says, "Is there any chance I can get one by two wall pieces on Brooklyn?" Yes, you can get any Lego piece on Brooklyn. So yeah, are you talking about the one by two by five ones? Because I was actually able to find a lot of those at the Lego store. And those were the pieces that I used on my burgundy skyscraper that was on my city update.
Anthony Di Anthony Dice says the roller coaster is too big, so I don't like it. It is cool. Yeah, it is cool. I mean, if you don't have a lot of space, then um, no, I wouldn't get that set. But luckily, my city is big enough to include that. Oh, you're welcome, Stacy. Oh, welcome back, Nicholas. Glad that you're here. Um, all right, so here's another update on what the apartment looks like. So there's the little fireplace in there. There's the coffee table. And I'm actually building a staircase right here. Let me go to the next step. Okay, so it looks like I'm almost finished with this bag, which is nice. And then I'll have two more bags left, and I'll be finished. Um, let's see. Yes, I am a kid. Well, I'm actually a teenager because I'm 14. Um, Butt Shop says, I'll be back in a bit. The girls want to go for a walk. Oh, that's okay, Butt Shop. Um, I'll see you when you come back. Oh, see you, Stacy. Thanks for coming. Okay, so I'm using some white tiles, I mean pleats, to kind of smooth this off a bit. Uh, butt Shop says we are all kids. Oh yeah, playing with Lego. But it's amazing what you can do with Lego, and how it's not just for kids. Um, Nicholas says, OMG, my school dungeon set came early. Oh, really? That's nice. I like that. Dr. Stop Motion, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Butt Shop says, I am only three years old. Oh, really? Okay, so this next part is really cool because I'm going to be building the window that's at the front, like right here. So let me do that real quick. Oops, just put something on wrong. <laughs> Bricks T says, I thought I streamed a lot. Oh, welcome to the stream, Bricks T. Glad that you're here. Oh, yeah, and congratulations on um, reaching monetization. Um, really glad that you're able to do that. So, nice job. <laughs> Bricks T says, streaming machine, Tayshawn. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Just building all my Christmas sets that I got. Oh, welcome to the stream, BD Bricks. I'm glad that you're here. Oh, yeah, no problem, Bricks T. 
I'm always happy to support other channels. Oh, Anthony says that he is a kid. Okay, cool. Um, Butt Chop is talking to Brett's Bills. He says, and I are probably the oldest ones in the chat, and we are kids. Huh, yeah, I guess. Okay, BD Bricks says he came in to say hi. Well, hey, BD Bricks. I'm just working on the window for my apartment building. Part of the set. Mm -hmm. Oops, can't let that get in there. Kids at heart, yep, I agree. Playing with Lego. Yeah, that's what I've been doing um, all day today, pretty much. Okay, so Butch Shop says, okay, actually need leaving now for a walk in the Wisconsin air. Okay, well, um, thanks for stopping by, Butch Shop. I hope that you have a nice walk. Okay, so that goes in here just like that. Um, Lego Carter, what are you saying? Are you speaking in Spanish? Okay, so we've been streaming for over two hours now. What, YouTube, do what you like. Yeah, that's what it's for. Oh, welcome back, Teal Bricks. He says, haha, yeah, Lego's magical powers, is it prevents you from growing up? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Yep, it sure does. And actually, Lego um, can be helpful with a lot of things because, like, I heard that people have been using it for educational purposes. And you can also use it, like, to plan things. Like, I think I've heard that a couple architects have used Legos to um, design a building. And I think that if I become an architect, then that's what I'll do. I'll use Legos to design things. And actually, being an architect, is what I want to be when I grow up. So yeah, if there are some younger people in the chat, um, what do you guys want to be when you grow up? Know what, um, Lego YouTube, do what you like. Yep, that's right. Do what you like. Oh, okay, Q Peso means what's up, what's happening, what's going on. Oh, okay, thanks, Teal Bricks. Um, Nicholas says, will you be streaming tomorrow? Um, no, I probably won't, because I think I'm going to finish, um, this set today. At least that's what I'm hoping. But I've been thinking about doing a live stream on the Barracuda base set. And I'm not sure about that. So that's a really big thing. But it's only like a couple hundred more pieces than this. 
I think. Well, it's not that many more. So I might do a live stream. Hey, Lego Lucas Tan Animations, how are you doing today? Alright, so we're five likes away from reaching 30. So that's nice. Can you build a mock? Yes, I can. Um, I've actually been working on a mock earlier today, and I've been working on more of my Japanese restaurant mock. And I don't think I'm going to put that in my city. I think that's just going to be for a video. Because I believe that I'm doing that video as a collaboration with someone else. Okay, so where does this go? Okay, so I actually needed two of these pieces. Tilbrick says, oh, nice. Go for it, Tayshawn. Is there any free architect design software you could start messing around with? Um, there's actually, well, there's a Lego designing website called Mecha Bricks. But there's um, another architect, one that I can use. Um, I think it's called AutoCAD. Because I had drafting as my class for this semester because I'm in high school. And that's what we use to design different things. Nicholas says, I got Barracuda Bay for my birthday. It took me three days to finish. Yeah, it's taken me three days to finish this set. Oh, hey, Scribble. Welcome to the stream. Oh, okay. So, um, K Peso, that's how it's pronounced. Okay, thank you. Welcome back, AS Poker. Do you plan on putting a train line in your city? No, I don't think I'll be putting trains in my city. Um, I've actually wanted to before, and I've been thinking about it, but then I realized that that actually takes up more space. Because I'll have to have at least half a base plate worth of space, and I don't have that much space for my um, well, to put any trains there. And also, I want to use pretty much all of my space for buildings in my city. But I've heard that trains are really popular, though. Lego trains. But maybe if I get more space in my city, I might put some trains in it. Okay, so right now I'm trying to figure out where to put. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, there we go, finally. Um. Awesome. Drafting class is fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, have you guys ever designed anything on a Lego designing website like Mecha Bricks or Stud.io? Because I've heard that some people have used that website before, and I've actually used it before. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to tile off this part once I collect all the pieces for it. Two of these, two of these, one of these, and one of these. Okay. Um... Did you get the 2021 Police Modular Building? Um, no, not yet. I'm planning on getting it in the future. I've seen um, some people do live streams on it earlier today. Haha, you almost said it right. K Palso. Oh, okay. K Palso. Oh, welcome to the stream, Peter. 
glad that you're here. If you guys haven't checked out Peter's channel, he makes some really good content. He actually has a Lego City too. I think this is the first time I've caught you caught one of your streams live. Yeah, I think it is. So I'm glad that you're here. Thanks for stopping by. Oh yeah, and I, th <clears throat> I think that you got this set uh, um, a couple weeks ago, Peter, because I saw your video where you had built some sets. Okay, so I'm using these white tiles for the top. And it's always satisfying to do that because it just makes it look so much cleaner. I used to use Ildraw Lego CAD, but I don't use it any in a long time. I've been meaning to check out Mecha Bricks. Yeah, because you can render things at Mecha, Mecha Bricks. Aya says, yeah, Brixie was doing a live stream earlier today. It took him nine hours. Really? Man, that's a long time. I um, actually got on a stream while he was building it a few hours ago. And yeah, I believe that he did two parts where he built part of it yesterday and then he finished it today. And he also has help with his wife. Um, to build it. And that set has more pieces than this one, and it's taken me three live streams. But he built it quicker because he has some help. I'll have to check how many hours in total it's taken me to do this. Nine hours seems to be about right. Isn't it way taller than most modulars? Yeah, I think it is. And actually, nine hours, like I said earlier, is pretty good time for a set that big. So yeah, that set, um, he made a Lego store vlog, and I saw the police station set uh, sitting beside this one. And it's actually a lot taller. It looks taller than the garage. I don't know if it's taller than the town hall, though. Yeah, I don't think it's taller than the town hall. Um, but on the back of the box, it shows that building beside a few other buildings, and it's pretty much the tallest one out of the newest ones. Okay, so I have all 20 of these little candle pieces. And I like how they, they're using these pieces for like the corners of the windows. I wonder how fast Jane Bricks builds his sets. Huh. Um, actually, you can see how fast he builds them because he has a speed building channel called Jane Builds It. And I think he takes his time while he's building it. Um, he actually has a speed building channel and a real-time building channel. He has a lot of channels. You like Jane Bricks too? Yeah, he's a really good channel. I believe that he has over a million subscribers. And his shopping mall video was awesome. That video came out like three years ago, I think. You just put a few more candle pieces on here. 
Um, Silbrook says, yeah, but live streams slow you down because of chatting, multitasking. If you build a set by yourself, you could build it much faster. Yeah, you could. I agree. And But I actually like it when people are chatting while I do live streams because that's basically the main reason I do that. And, of course, to get watch time. <laughs> but, yeah, I really enjoy chatting with you guys while I build sets. So, yeah, I don't mind, like, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything you want to talk about. Okay, so here's what it, this looks like once I use the candle pieces on the corners of the windows. And that looks so good. So I think we're almost done with this bag. Um, Peter's Pieces says, I forgot he has that channel. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait, did I forget to put something on? Okay, hold on. I forgot to put the chairs on there. Go back a couple steps. Oh, okay, so I did. I actually forgot to build the minifig that comes in this bag. Because that goes in there. Just like that. There we go. Now I can go back to here. Get a couple glass pieces. Yeah, it does take a long time to do anything on stream. By the way, your previous bookshop streams are five hours total, so I think you're well under nine for this. Yeah, I think so. So that's really good. And this set has 2,504 pieces, so yeah, that's pretty much accurate. Tilbrook says, candlesticks, sticks on sticks on sticks. <laughs> yeah, more like sticks on sticks on sticks on sticks on sticks. Since there's five of them that you have to stack on there. I feel bad for Brixy when he builds Technic sets on stream. Oh, yeah. But when he built the Coliseum, which is the biggest Lego set, that one took him, like, five or six live streams. And they weren't short either. They were, like, let's see. I don't know. They were, like, a long time. Oops. And the uh, Coliseum is also repetitive, so yeah, I do feel bad for him. But he really enjoys it, and plus, um, doing making YouTube videos is actually his job. Okay, there we go. Now we can go back and build a minifig that comes with this. And this is actually the little boy's grandmother. Here's what she looks like. Okay, so I'll just put her beside the grandfather. Okay, now I can attach this to the basement. So let me put these pieces in my extra pieces bag. Real quick. Oh, and I'm really glad that there's an extra piece for the teacup. Okay, now I can attach that to the basement. This is just the basement and the apartment building. And this is looking really good so far. Oops. Wow, this door. There we go. Okay, so this door right here, it opens. 
So you can walk down the stairs and you can go to the little garden. And you can also open this door, which goes to the basement. And there's actually another door in here, which goes to the basement. Let me bring my lighting over here. And there's a staircase where you can go up the stairs. So yeah, this is looking really good so far. Just dropped an umbrella. Okay, now let's go to the next bag. Um. Oh, hey, Dark Ride Bricks, how are you doing? Glad that you're here. Hey, yes, Parker says it took Jane Bricks three hours and 46 minutes to build this set. And it also took Brixie 11 hours to make the Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. The Coliseum is a really big set. Who's your favorite from Series 21? I like the boy with the violin. Yeah, I really like that minifig, too. I don't know which one's my favorite. Because they're all really good. I have to think about that. Okay, so let me get things set. Um, A.S. Parker says the grandmother looks pretty young for a grandmother. Yeah, I know. She may just have a lot of makeup on, or her age is treating her well. Um, so Brick says, even at hyper building speed, it makes me. It takes me several days to build the Technic cars. GTG and the Bugatti. Ooh, you have the Bugatti. I think the Bugatti is my favorite sports car. So I just really like how that looks. Peter says, how the heck did Jane finish in under four hours? Holy cow. Yeah, I know. He's probably been, he's probably been building Legos for a while, and he can just build at a really good rate. Okay, so I'm just going to attach these two buildings together for right now. Okay. Stacy Harris says, are you going to keep the buildings together or separate? Um, I'm not sure yet, which is why I didn't build these two sets on the 32 by 32 base plate. Because I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, see where I put it in my city. And that will depend if I keep it together or if I put the bookshop one place and then put the apartment um, somewhere else. And also, I think that whenever I'll need to have base plates, I'll just transfer both of these to the 32 by 32 base plate. Um, but one thing I wish that Lego did was I wish that they sold um, half base plates, which are 16 by 32 plates. Because that would be so good because they already have um, two different sizes because they have the 32 by 32 plates, the 32 by 32 plates, and the 48 by 48 plates. See, it would be really cool if Lego made the 16 by 32, or they even made some 16 by 16 um, base plates. Because I'm sure that those would sell really well. I agree. My favorite car is the Bugatti Veyron. Oh, yeah. Actually, my favorite Bugatti one is the Bugatti Chiron. Yeah, it's that one. So, yeah, do you guys think that Lego should sell um, more different size base plates? Okay, so I'll need another 8x16 plate for this floor. And we're using another one of these big curved pieces, which I like. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Tail Bricks, which Bugatti was it? Was it, say, I mean, was it the Bugatti Chiron or the Bugatti Veyron? Till Brick says, yeah, the Series 21 has so many good figures. I like the Castaway do with the little crab. Yeah, that's another good one. Oh, yeah, I think one of my favorite ones might be the Surfer Girl. Surfer Woman. Because I like her outfit. Um, and I like her surfboard, too. And at first, I thought I was going to be a little upset because they went from 16 minifigs to 12 minifigs. But once you think about it, it's not really that bad because usually in a series that has about 16 minifigs in it, there's always like two or three which aren't that good. So that pretty much makes up for it. Oh, okay, so you got the Bugatti Chiron one. Nice. Um, I got the Lamborghini CN, but it's still in the box because I'm so busy with making videos nowadays. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know. I have two videos that I could make, but I'm trying not to um, make a video and then have, like, nothing else I can do. So I try to have at least two videos that I can do, like, after I've uploaded one of them. Yeah, the dolphin is new in Sand Bloom, too. Yeah, I know. That's another reason why I like that minifig. Okay, so we're going to the roof, I think, which is what this bag builds. Well, it builds part of it. So what are um, your favorite minifigure series so far? I'm curious to know that. Anthony says that this is cool. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Rogue Empire says, I'm watching your stream while editing a video. Nice. Yeah, that's what I like to do while I watch long videos or streams. I like to do other things. Like work on a mock or work on my city. So yeah, that gives you something to do while you're editing your video. Um, Tilbrook says, "Did you see the new bay window pieces 2021 on the Andre on the Andrea's house friend set?" No, I did, have not seen that. Um, I'll have to look at that. But I do like that new Andrea's house, and I like how they're using um the micro dolls that they used in the Disney Princess books as like little kids for the Friends series. Because for a long time, there's only been, like, one size for Lego figures. I mean, Lego mini dolls. Um, A.S. Parker says, I like the Ninjago figures. Yeah, I like them, too. Stacy here says, 26 likes. Yes. We have four more to go.
So yeah, I have to go look at those new um, what are they called? No bay window pieces, because that sounds cool. Um, Tilbrick says, I don't have an overall CMS series favorite. I was super stoked about the sea turtle in the last series. Oh, yeah, the new, the last series was good. And I agree, it is kind of hard to choose between different figures that you like. So, where is this one going? Because I have a lot of favorites. Like, I have the last series. I have this series. I also like the Ninjago movie series. Because those had a lot of good figures. Okay, so right now I'm building like part of the front of this floor, and they're using like these um, cone pieces right here. I'll show you that when I'm finished. Let me get a one by one piece. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And that tile actually says 107. And that's cool because that's like um, the house number or apartment number that it is. And that just fits in perfectly, just like that. One of these, one of these. Oh, yeah, what do you guys think about the new Botanical Garden set that was released um, on January 1st and the Chinese New Year sets? Because I really like the new Chinese New Year sets. Mm -hmm. And it looks like I'm using another upside down technique. Because I like that, um, that garden set for the Chinese New Year. The one that has like a bowl in it. Okay, so this is what I was talking about for the upside down technique. So since they sent, since they can't really use bricks upside down, then they just use clips because right here there are some clips, and this can attach to it. So what they did is they turned it upside down and attached the clips just like that. And now you can build on both ways, and that's cool how they did that. And I think right now, um, I'm gonna build a bed. At least I think that's what they're telling me to build.
Okay, Tilbrick says the flowers. All I see is uh, new pieces to use. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know. I always like to um, see the new pieces that are in sets. Tilbrick says, I love the new Chinese New Year sets. Yeah, me too. Because I was saying earlier that I really like the garden one that has like, or well, I forgot what it's called. Um, I don't think it's called the Chinese New Year garden, but that's kind of what it is. And it has that bowl in it. And I also really like the mini figs that it comes with. A lot of times the mini figs are the highlights of a set. Oh, okay, so this goes right here. Oh, welcome back to the stream, Anthony Die. I'm glad that you're here. He says, me too, I'm by too. Oh. Okay, so we've been streaming for over an hour and 30 minutes now. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the bed looks like after I'm finished. And I like the colors that they're using. So what are your favorite pieces to use? Like, if you're making a mock and um, you're using different pieces for it, like, what are your favorite pieces that you like to use to build? Oh, let's see what's here. Um. So yeah, what are your favorite pieces to use? Man, this piece won't come off. All right, there we go. Oh, okay, so um, Till Brick says for my car mocks, my favorite piece is the one by two bow tile with the corner cut off. Oh, yeah, those are some good pieces. Um, I think that my favorite pieces to use are tiles, especially like when I'm making a uh, modern mock. Like my favorite tile colors to use are black, uh, white, brown, dark tan, colors like that, and of course, plates. I love the 16 by 16 plates, like big plates like that. 
He also says, makes the cars more modern and angular and less blocky. Yeah, I agree. Because I think that's what they use with the uh, speed champion sets. And some of the speed champion sets look really good. Like how they um, made all the curves and stuff. It's really cool. And I like how accurate it is to the actual car that they're basing it off of. Okay, another on this bed, I'm going to use some more of these um, sort of pyramid pieces in brown. I like those pieces. And this bed is looking really nice. Okay, so here's what the bed looks like. The blankets are yellow, and of course the pillow is white. And they they made a lot of details for it, too. See, I really like how they did that. And that bed actually goes... Um, it goes right here. Oops. Okay, there we go. The bed actually goes right here. Just like that. Oh, welcome back to the stream, Prodger JB. Nice, that bit is cool. Yeah, I agree, it is really cool. Wow, that bit is amazing. Yes, it is. Never noticed that before. Yeah, I think it's kind of a hidden detail. Oh yeah, and till bricks. Um, when about when do you think that you'll start the production of your futuristic city? Or have you already started it? Oops, I actually misplaced this. Okay, so now we're going to use a bunch of these pieces right here. Which are kind of, um, they're kind of snap bricks.
Should I rebrand my channel to a Lego channel? Yeah, I think you should do so. Um, what type of content do you make now? Like, I see that your profile picture has, like, Fortnite characters on them. So, do you make Fortnite videos? But, yeah, I do think that it is a good idea to make your channel a Lego channel. Because you can make a lot of cool things, and um, people will probably start watching your videos, too. Um, Till Brick says, I'm hoping for late February. I'm waiting for some shuffling of things to clear up space. Nice. I like that. Um, he also says, as well as getting more buildings, I'm almost um, done with the Palace Cinema Reebok and working on the apartment high-rise. Yeah, and I really like how, you, how you're how you using a lot of plant pieces on your buildings, like how you're using the plant pieces on your um, hospital mock. That was cool when I saw that. And I like how you're using the um, colors that are kind of futuristic, like the teal colors, which, of course, that's your name. <laughs> okay, so Project JV says that he makes gaming videos and Fortnite videos. Yeah. Okay, so we just these. Um, Till Brick says, I have a bunch of other modulars, but will take, um, it will take me time to mod those. Oh, okay. So I guess you're going to start getting, like, your modular buildings, and you're going to modify them to make them have a futuristic vibe and modify the colors of them. Okay, so that's a good idea. So, yeah, um, I can't wait to see that. Padre JB says, "What should I call it? I want some, I want something cool or witty." Hmm, I don't know, cause there's a lot of um, good names. Uh, well, it depends. Like, maybe if you want to use your first name or your last name in it, you could have like, for example, if your name was Jack, you could say Jack Bricks or um, Jack Productions or something like that. Try to have something that kind of relates to Lego or like productions or studios or something like that. Um, Till Brick says, yeah, all my buildings are going to be covered in plants. The Palace Cinema is also looking fantastic with plants on it now. Yeah, and that's going to give it really more of a tropical style, and I like that. And it also makes your buildings look more detailed. So yeah, I really like that idea, and it's more unique, and that's a, that's the thing about making a Lego city, because sometimes Lego cities can look the same, because they have um, the same modular buildings, but my dad has been telling me that I need to start modifying my buildings, so I can make my city more unique and to make it mine, and I think that's what I'm going to start doing now. Um, Tilbrick says, I would start a second channel rather than rebrand the Fortnite one. Yeah, that kind of makes sense because um, there might be some people who watch your channel and are used to the Fortnite videos. So I think you should listen to T-Bricks. I mean, Tilbricks and make another one. But you can do whatever you want. Since it's yours. Okay, so right now I'm making some of the roof details using some tiles and corner tiles. And let me show that to you. So 
Let's see. Yeah. Here's what it looks like. They use these tiles to make more details on it. Uh, Till Brick says, the big cinema sign on the Palace Cinema, I changed it to a teal color. Man, you really like teal. But I like it too. Like this building right here. And I actually have a lot of teal tiles. I mean, I don't have a lot of them, but I have a good bit of them. One thing that I think that I've thought about doing is modifying my assembly square where I made one of the buildings a little taller. Because I think the building that is the cafe and then it has like a music store and then a ballerina room in it. I think I'm going to make that section taller, like by one floor or something. Because I always like to have some tall buildings in my city. Tilbrick says, looks more tropical now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Tilbrick says, your dad is spot on. Yeah, he is. He makes a lot of good suggestions. Okay, so we're about finished with this bag, and then we'll have one more bag left, and then I'll be finished. Oh, welcome back to the stream, Scribble. I'm glad that you're here. Okay, so I'm going to build some window designs real quick. Oh, okay, so this is the outside of the windows that I just built. And it looks like I'm going to be using some more candle pieces. Okay, so I have to build four of these, and the thing is, I'm going to actually um, put some of these right here. So I have to build four of those. Do that real quick. Um, Till Brick says, take unique aspects of your personality to incorporate into small, unique tweaks to your mocks and builds. But I think you already do that. Yeah, I do. And I try to have like a lot of good mocks in my city instead of just modular buildings because that really would make um, my city look like a lot of other people's. But I do in look at other people's cities like to try to inspire mine, but I don't directly copy theirs. I just try to get ideas from them. And it's always good to get ideas from other people because that's one of the main reasons that they make videos is to, like, inspire other people and show them how to do things. Because that's another reason why I make tutorials. And um, until Bricks, I think that your city is really unique, the one that you're planning on making. Okay, so we're almost two hours into this. Okay, so I've built all four of these little column pieces, and what they're telling me to do is they're telling me to put them on the outsides of 
the windows that I just made. And that looks really cool. So here's what that looks like. Yeah, no problem, Teal Bricks. And I think you should have a lot more than 19 subscribers. And your road plates video, I said this before, but it was really good. Uh, my next videos are going to cover some vehicle mocks. What kind of vehicle mocks do you think you want to see in a video? Uh, well, you were talking about uh, making like a little underground section in your city. So you can have like trucks that go to factories or delivery trucks and stuff like that. So I was thinking maybe a delivery truck mock would be nice. So you can put that in your underground section. Or you could uh, make some cars that are more futuristic. Because you said that your city takes place in like 2060, I think. So maybe either some factory trucks or delivery trucks like that. Or some futuristic vehicles or cars will be nice. So what do you think about that, Till Bricks? Let me turn this around. No, leave the this goes here. Okay, so right now I'm working on the interior. All right, so uh, I'm finished with this bag, and let me show you what it looks like. So, of course, we have the bed in here, and then right here, there's a little dresser and a flower pot and a lamp. So it's, it's a simple but effective room. All right, now let's go to the final bag. This feels like the back part, and it works on more of the roof details. So let me open the bag. And after this, we'll be finished. Okay, so Till Brick says, okay, cool. Consider it done. My next video is a garbage truck, and after that, I'll do a bunch of autonomous robotic delivery vehicles. Okay, then that's a good idea. I like that. Um, That garbage truck, that'll be a nice video. I always like seeing Lego garbage trucks. Oh, hey, um, Brownie Productions now. I like that name.
Brownie Productions. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, hey, Eric, stop motions 20. I'm glad that you're here. Um, yes, you are late, but that's fine. I mean, I'm, it's okay that you're late because you have a life, I'm sure. But thanks for stopping by. Oh, that's cool. We're using a Technic piece. Long Technic piece. We need three of these. Oh, welcome to the stream, Toby Ving, and thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate that. If any, anyone knew this on here, um, I'm working on the last bag. Um, Stacy Harris says, still hoping you can get to 30 likes. Yeah, me too. We have 25 so far, and we have three more to go. But it's okay if I don't make it. So to the next step. So here, how is everyone doing today? So I think I'm going to
Okay, so right now I'm putting some clips on here, and which is uh, for the roof. Okay, so Stacy says that he's doing great. That's good. Okay, so now I know why they use the Technic pieces. Because when I'm putting these pieces on there, I'm putting them, like, halfway through. And the Technic pieces actually have holes in them, which will allow me to do that. Oh, I actually have to put um, another one of these. I'm glad that you're enjoying my stream. Yeah, and I'm on my last bag right now. So that's really cool. Gotta get two of Okay, so we're actually going to be using some of these dark blue curved pieces um, for the roof. And that's cool. And I guess they're alternating. Um, do we get to see it placed in your city? Um, I don't think I'll um show it on this live stream, but in my next city update. I'll show this in my city. Well, I don't know. We'll see. How do I be a mod? Uh, well, for me to choose you as a mod, I would have to know you for a while. And right now, I only have one moderator. And I'll probably um, add more of them in the future. So yeah, once we get to know each other more, I'll probably make you a moderator. Um, Eric says that he's at Walmart. Nice. Um, are you able to find any new sets there, like new 2021 sets? Or is your Walmart wiped out like mine? Because my, my Walmart is terrible right now. Okay, so here's these um, roof details that I made. Till Brick says Sweet, and Brown Production says K. Oh, yeah, and sorry that I said Brownie Productions. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so it was Brown Productions. Oh, so you were able to find some um, 2020 sets. Nice. Are you going to be getting any? Because it would be cool if you were. Then you could do some reviews on them. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so they have the Mandalorian sets there? Okay, so are you getting that one? Okay, another roof detail. Now I need to do another one. Um, can you do a Lego room tour? Uh, I think I might do one in the future. Like, maybe when I hit another milestone, I'll do one. See, I'll probably do another city update and a room tour. And then the last one goes right here. Okay, sounds good. Yep. Oh, okay, so there's a Spider-Man 2021 set that's forty dollars. Oh, okay, so you're talking about the um, Spider-Man monster truck one. Okay, so do you see any of the new Lego City or Ninjago sets there? Okay, we have some more triangle um, roof details, and those will be going right here. Oh, okay, you'll go and see. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, so they do have the new Lego City um, sets. The new Lego City red car, $35. Nice. So are you going to get any of them, or are you just looking? Well, if you are, I'm curious to know which one you're going to get. Because I'm not able to find any um, 2021 sets where I am. Or well, at least at Walmart.
Whoa, you have a Walmart gift card for $300? Gracious. You could pretty much buy all the sets. <laughs> Man. Do you have a brick set account? No, I do not. Oh, welcome back, Charlie Builds. Glad that you're here. Um, how did your Sith art set go? Did you finish it? Move this a little bit so you can see it easier. Okay. See, I had your Sith art set go. Oops, I put it right here instead. Oh, hey, Jaden Jones, how are you doing? Um, Charlie says, good. I'm still working on it. I might, it might take another day. Oh, yeah, because um, putting all those tiles on there is a lot. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Um, Eric says, look, like I might get um, both of them. My sister is looking for toys, LOL. Oh, wait, no, she's looking for LOL toys. Nice. Uh, what am I building? I'm building the Lego Creator Expert book out set. And these pieces go right here, like that. Um, oh, that's cool. Um, Brown Production says that they have the same first name as Jaden. Cool. Oh, hey. Avantika Gosh, how are you doing? Glad that you're here. Um, Jaden says, you are so cool. I love to build Lego, too. Nice. Charlie Bill says, 25 likes. Yep, I saw that, and now we have 26 likes. Uh, my sister is telling me to buy her Lego friends. Oh, okay, cool. Um, actually, since there's 2021 sets there, um, there's the Andrea's house set. And that one looks pretty cool. So since you have like $300, maybe you could get her that one. Or you could get her another one. Um, Jaden says, good job. If Antica says, did you get 
the Lego set for Christmas. Yes, I did get this for Christmas. Along with some other sets. Okay, so now I'm going to place this on top of here. So let me move some of these out of it. So I have enough room. Okay, now I can slide this over. You see, get a good camera angle. And this just goes right here, just like that. So what do you guys think about that? Fix the camera. How does that look? Okay. Now I just have to build the back section of this and then I'll be finished. Um, can you build another house please on a video? You are cool. Um, I actually have built a new Lego house. It's tan. It was actually on my last city update video. So if you want to see what that looks like, you can go check that out. Right now. Um, Charlie Bill says that this looks awesome, and Jaden Jones says good. Thank you. And if Aventico says it looks cool, Tayshawn. Teal Brick says super duper. Yeah, I agree. This set is actually a lot cooler than I thought. Um, Jaden says OMG rock. Yep, thank you. Glad oh, we got 27 likes now. All right, three more to go. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, so thanks um, so much to all the new people who joined. Really appreciate that. Um, Teal Brick says, are you going to keep them together or separate them in your city? Um, I think what I'm going to do is that, like, first I'll keep it together. And then, like, when I put it in my city and I figure everything out, that's when I'll decide if I'll separate them. Because I think as of right now, I'm just going to keep them together. But if there's an area in my city where I think that there needs to be a building that's half a base plate, then I think I'll just separate them. Jaden says that he got a house Lego set, too. That's cool. Eric said, OMG, my brother is going to buy a Lego set over $100. Wow. Uh, which set is that? I'm interested to know. Um, Jaden says, you're good at building and building a car if you can. Oh, thank you. Okay, so this section that I'm building right now, that's going to go at the back side of this building. Because right now, uh, it has no back to it. So I think I'm just going to display it like this. 
um, until I finish building this part. Uh, what am I building now? I'm building the back part, and that's supposed to go like right here. Uh, it's a large Lego city with 13 characters. Oh, okay. Um, do you know what set is called? Like, does it have it on the box, the name of it? Oh, that's cool. They have this window, but it's actually on a slant. So instead of it facing up, um, it goes down just like that. So see like this, it actually slants up instead of going straight up. Kind of like this window piece like this. It's pretty much the same piece, just um, added a little bit more to it so it's slanted. And I always like getting those pieces. Uh, and Ventica says, do you know yesterday I bought the Lego set for my sister's birthday? And thank you again for telling me the price of this Lego. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'm glad that you're able to get something for your sister and tell her that I said happy birthday. Okay, so Eric is at the register. So um, I'll see you when you come back. Happy New Year to you, too, Jaden. Oh, cool. Charlie Build says that he just got the bonsai tree set. Nice. Um, I think I was just talking about that earlier to um, Teal Bricks. Um, what do you guys think about the Chinese New Year sets? Because I think the bonsai tree is kind of related to the Chinese New Year sets. Um, Jaden says, good that you are doing well. Well, thank you. I hope that you're doing well, too. Charlie says that they look pretty cool. Oh, yeah, they really do. Um, there's this one set. I think it's the garden one. Let me see what it's called. Uh, let's see. Um... Oh, the 2021. I forgot which one it was, but it's kind of like a garden one. 
Yes, yeah, the Spring Festival. Yeah, that's the one. I think that's the one that's my favorite. Okay, so Brown Production says that he's just working on a vid, a video. Nice. I hope that it turns out well. And I just dropped my brick separator. Oh, yeah, that one is really cool. Yeah, it is. There's actually a couple of other new Chinese New Year sets, but I'm probably most excited about that one. Jaden says, and I am doing good on my Lego sets. I still have one more Minecraft set. Nice. Okay, so I think we're done now. All right, so here's the finale. Well, hold on. Okay, now I'm going to put this back piece on here. There we go. Now it's complete. Okay, so let me bring it up a little closer. Um, remember the contest? Yes, I do remember that contest. Um, do I watch Brixie? Yes, I do watch Brixie, and he's a really cool YouTuber. And uh, me and someone else, I think it was Peter's Pieces, we were talking about how he um, built the police station set in like nine hours. No, I think... I think it was nine hours. I think it was something like that. And we were talking about it earlier. So yes, I do watch him. And you guys are saying that it's cool. Yeah, it does look a lot better than I thought. Aventico says, wow, it looks amazing. Yes, it does. And we just got a like. Yes, 28 likes. All right, so let me do a 360 view of this. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Yes, I am going to enter the contest. Um, Charlie Build says, wow. All right, so let me show you briefly what each um, floor looks like. Let me just take these off. And they can just come apart just like that. Um, Brown Production says that looks great, and OMG, it looks so good. It's one of the best modulars. Yeah, it is. Probably one of my favorites now. Okay, so here is the bookshop. Like, the actual bookshop. Angle the camera down so you can see. Okay, so you can see that in here, um, it has some tiling, and this part right here can actually lift off just like that, and that actually reveals some more books that are in here. Let me take this tree out real quick. Okay. And there's actually another bookshelf right here. And then there's a staircase that goes up. And you can put this piece back on. 
which goes up to the next level. And the next level, let me get it. The next level is like a little lounge area for the bookstore owner. And there's a little uh, reclining chair in here. There's a grandfather clock and a lamp. And there's also this rug right here. And there's a little eating area. And then there's a staircase, which goes to the next level. And that is the bedroom, which the back can come off just like that. So it has the bed and the little chameleon enclosure thing. Okay, now for the apartment. Um, there's a little basement. And it has a ladder, a little mousetrap, and a table that has a bag. And this is the door right here that goes to the basement. Then there are some stairs and a little garden that has um, some pumpkins growing. And there's actually some stairs. Well, there's two stairs that go to the next floor, which is the actual apartment. And here's the door for that. I really like this bay window, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, bay window. And there's a little eating area right here. There's this couch looking thing. There's actually a fireplace in here, um, a cabinet, a little plant, and there's a place where you can hang your umbrella or your hat. And then uh, there's a staircase, which goes to the next level. And that is the bedroom. So there's the bed right here and uh, a dresser, which has a lamp and some flowers. Hope that you guys could see that well. Oh, yeah, and also we have uh, the little back part for the bedroom. You can see that here's the back part. And there's a tiny little garden with that window piece. And that just attaches on. Oops. Just like this. And of course, like all the other modular buildings, they attach together with Technic pins. Okay, so that was the bookshop. And we just hit 30 likes. So thank you, guys. All right, so let me go back to the comments. Um, oh, hey, Blitz Bricks. How are you doing? Uh, Till Brick says, one more set of awesomeness to go in your city. Yeah, I agree. Toby Vang says, I don't have the bookshop, but plan to get one when it's back in stock. Yeah, you should get it. Uh, Jaden says, I built the race set um, to done in Charger. And he says, an old school bin. Yeah, I agree. Do we only get the slanting pieces in this Lego set only? Uh, the slanting pieces, are you talking about the roofs? Like these right here, because you can get more, um, you can get more slope pieces than other sets. I'd live in that teal house if I was a minifigure. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, bring it closer, please. Okay. Here's what it looks like up close. And I really like this um, staircase right here. And I might as well get these minifigs. So here's the little boy. And the story is that he's flying his plane. And apparently when he's flying it, it gets stuck in the tree. And I guess I can just, I don't know, sit that on the tree just like that. Okay. And so the boy, he's going to become sad. And he's going to get his grandparents. And his grandfather is going to get the little ladder 
which is in the basement. So he's going to get the ladder so he can get the boy's airplane out of the tree. Yeah, let me just put him up there. He got the airplane for his grandson. Now he's happy. So basically, that's the story. And then the bookstore owner, um, she's right here. And this guy is actually in love with her. And he's brought her flowers. And of course, this is the grandmother. So yeah, I really enjoyed building this set and chatting with you guys. And thanks for all the people who joined. Um, Tilbrick says, you should clean up the basement and put a micro Lego city in there. Oh, that would be a really cool idea. I like that. All right, so are there any um, last questions you guys need to ask? I'll put this ladder back in. Um, Toby Bank. Toby Vang says, this set looks amazing. However, the side of the teal building where the pit is at looks ugly. Yeah, I agree. But at least it's not going to be seen um, because this is actually going to be put beside another building. But yeah, Till Bricks, I do like your idea of putting a micro Lego city in the basement. Grandmother right here. Grandfather here. Little kid right here. Um, Brown Productions says, not going to lie, I love the stream. When are you planning to stream next? Um, I'm thinking about doing a live stream on the Barracuda Bay set. What do you guys think? Because that's going to be a big set. Oh, yeah, and of course, here's the birch tree. And let me take that off so you guys can see it. I'm thinking about making, well, taking out the leaf pieces that are orange and yellow and making them just regular green since it's not fall anymore. And there's also this little bird's nest and a bird. Oh, I have Barracuda Bay, and it's amazing. Nice, Brown Productions. Uh, and Ventica says, do it. Hey, JRock704, how are you doing? Teal Bricks and Paradisa says, heck yeah, live stream it. And hey, Lego Joe. Um, for the people who just joined JRock704 and Lego Joe, I'm actually finished with this. And I'll just do a 360 view for you guys since you just got on. And this will definitely be in my next city update video. Um, Till Brixen says, and show your origin story Lego set in that stream too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, let me go get that real quick because I said that I would show that at the end of the stream. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so here's what 
the set look like? It was like this, um, it doesn't have a brand on it, but it had 704 pieces, and it was set number 5508. All right, see you in Ventica, and I'm going to finish now, so you can go and brush your teeth. So yeah, this is my first Lego set, I think. That's in as well. Yeah, it is an old set. And that's actually where I um, got my first half base plate, too. All right. I hope you like this live stream. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay safe. See ya.